Hey everyone, Shane Lane. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to open up a box of OP5. I had no intentions of buying this box, if I'm being honest. I was more interested in OP3, but when the guy, I usually talk to him at every convention because he's always there. He owns a booth called, I think, Genix Gamings. He picked up a case and said, your choice. So I chose. <laughs> so here we go. This is how it all started. Uh, I feel like the you know, overall, in hindsight, I feel like this is a better one than OP3 because it has three manga arts. The possibilities are there, you know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm going to get one today, but fingers crossed, right? So here we go. We're going to open this up. But before we open this up, I do have a giveaway. Today's giveaway is going to be two Kingdom of Intrigue blister packs. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and just tell me what I noticed in the anime is that everybody has a different laugh. So tell me who has your favorite laugh. For me, it's going to be Big Mama <laughs> because every time she chuckles, She'll end it with the mama mama, which is pretty hilarious to me because I'll catch myself doing it when I'm like, you know, washing my clothes or something. <laughs> so it's crazy. So here we go. Um, all you like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't watch the anime, just let me know for if you still want a chance to enter, which is all good. <laughs> so without further ado, here we go. All right, guys, and we're back. So. Pretty much what we're going to talk about this video is my my time at Collecticon, which is okay. If you guys want like some feedback of Collecticon, it's like, yes, it is a lot of collectibles there. <laughs> you know, there was a lot of One Piece. Uh, what's really crazy is that I bought some Yu-Gi-Oh slabs with me. I, I think I brought like a, a Ghost Rare uh, Black Rose Dragon PC9. I don't know if you guys seen it yet, but I I ended up selling that so I can get some extra cash to do other things while I was there for, you know, signings and all that. But, um... What's crazy what I'm trying to say is that a lot of vendors over there don't buy Yu-Gi-Oh slabs unless it's like the vintage stuff like what I had. So if you're if you're into selling something like that, then just be very okay, right back there. Not the, ooh, SR by the way. <laughs> I thought it was uh I got confused with BB, but Rebecca. Nice. So what was I saying? So what what if you ever go to Collectcon anywhere, most of the vendors there are more interested in Pokemon because it sells faster. That's what they told me. If he has Wii Schwartz, good luck trying to find somebody there. Sorry about that. Good luck trying to find somebody there who's interested in it because a lot of them will just pass. It's always Pokemon and One Piece. Those, those were the two main hits. And then also, um, let me go faster for this because you know we already explored this box on this channel. So it's nothing, not Old Man Street and a Sabo back-to-back -back SR. I met him, by the way. I have some pretty cool stuff signed. Oh, you guys remember the three blue eyes I had? I was going to get signed by Eric Stewart. Well, if you didn't see it in my YouTube short, I'm about to show you guys at the end of the video what I had done. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I met Chopper. It's my favorite, favorite straw hat. She was cool. She was really nice. Me and my friend had a good conversation with her. <laughs> she she did the voice for us and everything. So it's always pretty cool. I wish I had like... Um, I wish I were recording it, but it, it's all good. Here we go. It's show. All right, that's all right. So I don't know. Can we get a manga art? So so after at the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got signed. If you guys are interested, I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm just really happy that it happened, so I want to share it with you guys. That's that's the whole intention of it. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> pretty cool stuff. Chopper signed something. I got Sabo to sign some cards, and I met Naruto when I was there. Um, who else did I meet? I mean, uh, I met some pretty cool voice actors, to be honest. I mean, it's not like, um, you know what I want to meet? I want to meet like a, like a movie star <laughs> and get something signed, like, like an Avenger or something. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but you know, that's, I don't know. <laughs> maybe like at, maybe like at a Comic Con, uh, which I need to see if I can go to it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to Anime Expo this year. In Los Angeles, that'd be pretty fun. Sabo and a man tree. Okay, cool. So the convention, it was pretty fun. Um, a lot of the vendors, what they like to do is upscale everything about like ten bucks. So they have that wiggle room to 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 work with you on pricing, which you know it, it's. Kind of, I know their game, so they do that. But at the same time, if they were to sell it at like market value, like for example, I bought this box. For two hundred and fifty dollars, I know expensive, but um, if they were to sell it online for two hundred fifty dollars, they'll lose twenty percent. So you could definitely haggle with them. I think <laughs> over the weekend it was like two seventy, so couldn't really do that. Um, but also, oh, one thing that I noticed in Limburg, one thing that I noticed about 
the the product product wise over there. So you know how the new Dragon Ball came out, you know Toriyama, R.I.P. Um, they they had Dragon Ball Fusion World, um, the first day there, and then the second day there when I was trying to find like at least a booster pack, nobody had it, which was crazy. I went to like twenty different vendors, and nobody had it. You know, I did like three laps <laughs> around the whole place. And still didn't find it. Trafalgar Law SR. We can click. I forget how many super rares are there in there. Uh, I believe in Dragon Ball, there's about seven. I don't know. Bendai usually have the same ratios, I feel like. But here we go. So I guess one of the theory is why OP5 is so expensive. Is because, and why there's so many OP4s. Is because, I guess the, I guess the factory... Uh, cause Bandai manages three games apparently, so, well, not apparently, they do, which is, um, what is it, One Piece, uh, Dragon Ball, and, <laughs> Captain Kid, let's go, yes sir, we're gonna look at this at the end, wow, that looks nice, uh, you know what, I wanted a Captain Kid card too, okay, cool, kinda glad I got it, but you know, it's not the most valuable card, I'm pretty hyped about it, at the same time, I better get something like real. I better get an SP, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 250 a box. I don't know about that. But uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I totally lost something. Here we go. Can we get anything good? Birdcage hack. Garp. Elthor. And you know what's really cool now? That um, So I'm watching One Piece. And I'm like on episode 900. Pretty much I'm in Wano right now. So, so all the characters I see now that I, I pull, like I know them, which is pretty... I get that nostalgia effect like I got from Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, not the blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. I got that same thing because, like, I, I know these characters now, which is pretty cool. Basil Hawkins, the toy soldier. <laughs> Hippo. <laughs> I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't understand his character at first, but, you know, when they went to Zo, I kind of, it makes sense. Um, yeah, so I watched the anime in dub. I don't watch it in Japanese because... Uh, if I were to start it in Japanese, I probably wouldn't mind it, but I just felt like, <laughs> don't hate me on this, but I felt like Luffy's voice was too high pitched for me, so, um, I just, uh, yeah. Oh, Bello Betty, looking good. Okay. We got two alternate arts out of the way. Can we get anything <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Um, but yeah, I mean, you never know. You never know. Uh, it kind of sucks because it, it kind of blame myself because um if I don't get anything good you know because I'm the one who picked it out of the box and usually when I have the better luck like if you've seen the other videos is that the vendors pick it for me and usually and usually I prefer them pick it for me because uh I don't know my luck has not been the greatest <laughs> baby five all right we're halfway through the box hey left side by the way left side but collecticon overall it was pretty fun um. You know, since I love trading cards and looking at them and buying them, I guess. I didn't really do a lot of shopping. I did pick up a few Funko, uh, Funko Pops. But I met some pretty cool voice actors there. Like, Miss, the original Misty was there for Pokemon. She was pretty cool. Ooh, Captain Kid. Uh, who else was there? The Sailor Scouts. I met Ash Ketchum, the original Ash Ketchum, who was also Sailor Pluto, if you guys can remember Sailor Moon. I met uh, Sailor Chibi from uh, Sailor Moon. She was fun. Her voice, her normal voice is it's that. If you guys watch it, the dub version, that's her normal voice, which is uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. I guess. Uh, and then uh, Fire Fist, looking good, and Sira Hoshi. I know how to say the names now, guys. It's not me guessing anymore. <laughs> But here we go. Don't think, you know, we're just going to go through this fast because we got the two alternates out of the way. So, you know, we're just going to do it. But, yeah. Um, what else did I do at Collector's Night? It was mainly just for signature signing. Nothing really too special. Uh, I mean, it's, it's the panels. I didn't really stay for the panels, to be honest. But I'm so glad. I mean, if you guys, so there's a, when you buy tickets for Collector's there's a regular one, the general admission, and there's also a VIP pass. Uh, I went ahead and searched for the VIP pass just because I knew I was going to do a lot of signings. And um, uh, it just saved me a lot of time because in the line for a general admission, they usually do like. Okay, so sorry. For, so, oh, koala. 
So when you're going for like in line for a voice actor, there's two lines. There's a general admission and a VIP line. So if you're going just for signatures, I suggest you go for for VIP. And if you go non-signatures, like you're just going there for the event to buy, sell, trade, and just hang out, then just go for general admission. But VIP is only it's better if you're going for signatures, which a lot of us do. Oh, sorry, I can't see the comment. Because there's two lines, so and usually when they're when they're managing the lines to pick for the voice actors, like hey, uh, it's your turn next, you're next, you're next. It's usually three VIPs and then uh, a general admission, or it could be two and one or one and one. But the VIP lines are a lot shorter, to be honest. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy three alternate rock. I, I, yeah, that's the regular, right? That's the regular. This is the secret rare one. I wish we had the alternate rare ones, but hey. I am not mad about that. Wished we had some value back, to be honest. Uh, sometimes these boxes, like you're, you're super hyped for them, but you know, the demand is there, don't get me wrong, but it's just uh, um, the pull rate isn't there. <laughs> oh, we got the done card. Okay, we should have at least two. So yeah, I'm at the part. So if you are interested in where I am in One Piece, I don't know if you guys are, but in One Piece, I am at the part where, uh, I don't want to spoil a lot, but, um, so I'm in Wano, I'm just, I'm like barely in Wano, but I'm at the part, is this, is this, I don't know, but Luffy just did that, no, that can't be, because, because Kaido was in, was in full form, and, and Luffy got, uh, let's, let's say Luffy one shot. That's all I'm gonna say. And you guys know where I'm at. Then you know, what I'm saying if you guys watch it, but yeah, one shot Luffy, uh, and that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad one. But you know, I don't want to spoil too much if, if if people are like not um, caught up with it. Well, I'm not, I'm still not I'm not caught up myself either. But uh, I'm at a good point where you know I'm almost caught up. Then I'm gonna be bored every week. I've been <laughs> no more watching uh, about five, six episodes a day. Here we go, M morally. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered who this was, but I met him in the show, and um, didn't really look at the art. But yeah, bro's wearing a skirt. <laughs> that's just his character. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, but then my friend did spoil something about something about me about Okiku and. I guess I'm gonna find out eventually, so. <laughs> Whatever. Here we go, here we go. I don't think we're gonna get anything else, man. We I feel like we pulled everything already. Um, but we're just going through the motion car soon. Here we go. Two more packs left. Gotta be careful. Uh we were talking I was talking to other vendors. you know, I met a lot of cool people there. Um I should I should have just gotten their social media. I didn't do that. I was just in the moment enjoying the conversation, but Got a few, a few good, cool vendors, um, but they're all like, and like there, there were people like vendors flying, um, blaze, flying from Pika, Pika, Pika. <laughs> his, okay, his laugh is pretty funny. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I've met a lot of cool vendors there. There was one guy who, uh, who flew from Honolulu just to be in LA. I was like, man, that's a, that's a six-hour flight. It's like, yeah, it's for the event, you gotta spread the word. I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't, I didn't get his contact information, but yeah. But it just sucks that a lot of the vendors were looking for One Piece and um, Pokemon, especially when I was there with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, 2023 wasn't really a good, good year for Yu-Gi-Oh. But here we go, last pack magic. Can we get anything good? In three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Marcelino, not too shabby. Um. We're gonna look at the alt art scan just because it's there, and then I'm gonna break out some stuff that I want to show you. I'm gonna, only like probably like five things. It's not too much. I do have more than five things if you guys want to do the whole thing, but just let me know, and I'll probably like slowly show you guys per video. Oh, also by the way, if you made it this far, you didn't skip around because I do skip around watching YouTube videos too. Um, the blue eyes white dragon PSA 10 has not been claimed yet, so it could be somebody else Wednesday. Gonna make an announcement on Wednesday at midnight, like I did last time. So here we go. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> didn't skip that portion, that'd be pretty cool. Here's Barcelona. I mean, 
That's as far as they look all right. Pika, Pika. <laughs> we got Luffy right here. He looks pretty good. I mean, we have several of him. Uh, Koala, cute. Use this kid. Nice. So we have a Betty. Oh, Bello Betty. She looks awesome. When she was first, when I first saw her on the screen, I was like, good lord. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Captain Kid, I'm glad I finally got one. But, you know, I think in hindsight, I probably would have bought one. So, you know, I was like, like news against buying singles. I mean, yeah, I was like kind of against buying singles, but after one guy pointed something out to me, he said that uh, I bought a $30 card. He's like, look at that. You bought a $30 card. That's like buying three booster packs and getting it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I kind of, that with that logic, I kind of like, yeah. I guess he makes sense but <laughs> here we go let me get some stuff out for you guys um so you can check out but right now i do have the blue eyes right next to me so we're gonna check that out right now uh and, and here we go i got it right here right here look at that three two one this is the signed blue eyes i got it framed again so if you guys didn't see my youtube shorts you guys saw like a sneak peek of what i got signed but what do you what do you guys think i went with the gold the white was kind of fading every time i wrote it down so it was, I got lighter and lighter, but this is it. This is the blue eyes. I feel like this is this is cool. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna definitely mount this up and just put it next to my desk, and then you know just something for me to look at. So with this being here with me, then I don't mind doing the other three blue eyes I got. So maybe scatter the four across the world. That'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> it didn't have one person. Hunting, I mean, you know, this is too much anime right now. But anyways, this is the blue eyes. I really, really, I love this man. This is pretty cool. You guys see my blue screen behind me? <laughs> oh man, this is cool. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys some of the things I got. It's mainly Funko Pops, and I do have a few train cards, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. I don't have, I don't want to show you guys everything because I feel like it'd be too long. Uh, but yeah, I think at the end of every video, I'll probably show you guys something. But the one I'm really happy about is the, the Tony Tony Chopper one because he has my favorite straw hat and here it is. <laughs> I got the quote on it. It says, flattery will get you nowhere, you big jerk. And as she said it for me, it was pretty funny. And she drew a cotton candy and this is my PSA certification to know that is uh, authenticated. So there. There's one. And then the next one I got is, since it's One Piece theme, we're going to do One Piece. Um, and the, this, is the other, this is the only other One Piece. Uh, so the quote I got for it is even in death our bond will never break and this is when he's talking to uh, To Isho in, in the dress Rosa Before you know when they were talking when Sabo explained that he got his memory back. So This is it. Man. That's pretty cool. I like it. I wish Sabo had like a chase one I think but speaking of uh, Johnny Bosch since he is Sabo he's also Ichigo and I got a Funko Pop sign by him it says become stronger not just for your own sake, but for your friends. He's the one who picked up the quote. Then the black and gold. I think black and gold looks good. The orange and gold, is, eh, but it's not too bad, you know. <laughs> so there it is. There's the other one. And I did. Uh, I met Naruto when I was there. Here is Naruto. Follow your ninja way. She was pretty cool. <laughs> to be honest, I don't. I haven't seen an episode of Naruto. What? What the? I know. Big shocker, right? So I. I plan to watch it um, when I'm done with One Piece. That was the that was the plan from the get go. So I was gonna watch Naruto after I was done with One Piece. And the reason why I went there is because I know I know her for being a Disney show principal Perry. I know it's kind of weird, but this is that's what I know her for. Um, but uh, my friend loves Naruto, and I, I was thinking about giving one of the pops to him for his birthday. That I just passed. Uh, he's he's a really good friend, so I don't mind doing that. So there you have it. There were some items that I got signed. Um, nothing. We, we, not nothing. It, it, it's pretty cool stuff, but um, I really enjoyed my time there. I think I'm gonna be going next year, but usually I go for voice actors. So if the voice actors are like pretty cool, then I'm there. But if they're like repeats, then maybe not. But they always have somebody new, <laughs> which makes me always want to go. But other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for your chance to win these two blister packs. Just tell me who has your favorite lab. As for me, it's for Big Mama. <laughs> mama, Mama. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.